So in this section we're going to be talking about tonality. So in communication there's words, tonality and body language. Now my preference is that words make up 10%, body language and tonality make up 45% each. Now these percentages will vary depending on which study you're looking at, but each of them will kind of explain that words is the least and then body language and tonality. This does not mean that words aren't important, this is of course how you're describing stuff, uh, but it is about how you deliver the words, this has a much bigger impulse subconsciously, that's where emotion is drawn, through body language and tonality. Justification will go through the words, so when you're doing a sales process, you'll sell on body language and tonality, how you emotionally get the customer involved, but then they'll justify on logic. So whether they return the product or not or stick with it, that'll be based on the logic. When they remember, they'll only be thinking about your words. So you need to make sure your words are soundproof, make sure they've got a nice logical back into them, but then body language and tonality is how you sound. Cool, so we're gonna talk about tonality. So to begin with, with tonality, let's grab a better pen. Tonality can be controlled in three ways. Speed, volume, and pitch. Now with speed, there's two ends of the continuum. There's fast and then there's slow. So if we look at slow, when you speak slowly, what you're doing is actually emphasizing what you're talking about. So you can actually drag out a word. So by me saying massive and dragging out the word for a long period of time, what I'm actually doing is saying the word slowly, which is dragging out. And what it does is it emphasizes it. So if you want to emphasize something, then you say something slow, so it emphasizes. So in the sales process, for example, my spelling's terrible, don't pay attention to it. Uh, obviously, when it comes to a sales process in the attention, interest, drives that action, it, there's going to be certain words that you want to draw attention to, some that you won't. If you want to draw attention to it, emphasize the word, drag that word out. In the interest part, of course, you are going to be talking a lot slower because obviously it allows you to take those impulses in a little bit more. Now, if you're speaking fast, it actually builds up what we call sense of urgency, SOU. Sense of urgency, so the faster you talk, the more sense of urgency is built up, and this is what you need to do to get people to take action. There are certain words you can say, once again, critical, crucial, crisis, before it's too late, but it's how you deliver those words. If you speak up a little bit faster, it builds up a sense of urgency. Uh, if the building is on fire and I come in and go, cool guys, building's on fire, we probably need to be uh, making a shift on. Obviously, it's not gonna create much movement, but if I come and go, holy shit, building's on fire, let's get moving, guys, come on, get, let's get out. It's gonna create a little bit more sense of urgency. Hopefully, whoever's conducting your fire safety doesn't talk like that and get so panicked. Uh, cool, volume. You have loud and you have quiet. Speaking louder shows confidence, it shows certainty, okay? So obviously, whenever you wanna show confidence or certainty, just speak a lot louder, confidence and certainty. It shows that you're an absolute expert. So whenever you need to show that you're an expert in your field, speak louder. If you're very nervous and you're unsure you're doing something for the first time, fuck it, speak louder, they're not gonna tell the difference. Even if you fuck up the words, speak loud, and they're gonna be like, holy shit, this person's confident. So many times I've been in situations where I'm not confident, but all I've done is increase my volume, and obviously people are under the impression that you're confident. So if you ever go into job appointments, uh, approaching a partner, if you're going into doing a meeting that you're not 100% certain on, speak louder, obviously look at presidents, and obviously not the current one, but most presidents, obviously they speak a lot louder, prime ministers speak loud, obviously it shows that there's a bit of certainty. Police officers speak with that louder volume, it doesn't mean shouting, it just means speaking louder. So you can literally simply tilt the head up and it will get the voice coming from here, it projects it. A lot more, more confidence. When you're speaking quieter, it's to build intrigue. Once again, spelling's fucking atrocious. Uh, but intrigue, so when you're actually doing intrigue, you're speaking a little bit softer like that, it's, it's like a little whisper. Uh, and what you do is it creates a mystery. Everyone likes a good mystery, it's like you're telling a secret. So if you're talking a little bit quiet, it's like you're letting them in on a secret and it gets them engaged a lot more. Everyone's intrigued by that. So using that at the right points, of course, if you're speaking quietly like this for your whole presentation, it just shows that you're nervous and it shows that you're not that confident. But obviously it's the change in these tonalities. None of these tonalities are done for the whole same all the way through a presentation. People will switch off. They're constantly changing like a heart monitor, up and down, up and down, up and down. Cool, and then we've got pitch. Pitch is really easy. You got high and you got low. Of course with high, it's positives. Anything that's positive, you want to have in a high pitch. Anything that's negative, you're having a low pitch. And it is as simple as that, guys. So when you obviously you're going out and about with tonalities, you never see someone come in winning a lottery going, oh, sorry I'm late, I've just won the lottery. Never talk like that. It's always a high-pitched voice because it's positive. Once again, vice versa, if say if someone's had a someone pass away, you don't come in and go, oh, no worries, I was just burying my mum today. You, 
obviously it's a much lower tone because that's what they associate with. So once again, when you're doing a presentation, it doesn't matter what you're selling or how you're interacting, if you're going into job appointments, anything, wherever you have to sell yourself, understand these tonalities are important, but you have to use them in the right places. They're powerful if used at the right spot. So obviously what you just need to do is listen to an expert that's selling, find out how they're using their tonalities, where they're using it at the right points. But this is real simple. Anything you need to emphasize, say it slowly and talk slower in those points. When you want to build up a sense of urgency and excitement, speak a little bit faster. Uh, showing confidence and certainty, obviously in any points like that, speak loud. If you want to get a bit of intrigue, go a little bit quieter. And obviously for positives, high, negatives are low. Simple as that.